So I'm going to talk in a little bit more detail about how much sugar we're actually eating. And on average, we consume 66 pounds of sugar per year. And just to give you a sense for what that looks like, this is a four pound bag of sugar. Add another pound and a half, and that's what we're eating per month on average. If you really want to get a sense for it, put it in your backpack like I did and walk up Parnassus and really feel <laughs> what four pounds of sugar looks like. Now, the American Heart Association in 2009 came out with some guidelines to help us uh, understand how much sugar really is too much in our diet. So they came up with some figures. We've got it here in teaspoons. So for women, the recommendation is no more than six teaspoons of added sugar per day. For men, it's nine teaspoons. And then for children, it ranges between three and six, depending on their age and weight. So to give you a sense for what six teaspoons of sugar, which is the max that I should be eating in a day, um, so that's really not very much. I mean, you can think about easy way to cut things out if you're adding teaspoons of sugar to your tea or coffee in the morning, or if you're adding sugar to recipes at home, you could certainly cut down on the sweetness, but really, gosh, that's not much at all. Or some people, instead of drinking coffee in the morning, might drink a Coke. Can anyone guess how many uh, teaspoons of sugar are in this. 65 grams of sugar in this Coke. And actually, to really understand, um, when you're looking at products, you have to be able to convert teaspoons to grams. So we would multiply roughly by four. Um, 25 grams of sugar is the most that I should be eating in a day. So right off the bat, this is almost three times as much sugar that I should be consuming in a day. That's pretty incredible when you think about it. And then there are other products in the grocery store, which, by the way, about 74% of packaged foods in the grocery store contain added sugars. Then we have products that like to promote themselves as being healthy. This Nutrigrain bar tells us it has no high fructose corn syrup, made with real fruit and whole grains. But then if you look at the label, which you kind of actually need a magnifying glass to see it, 12 grams of sugar, so that's half of what I should eat in a day. And then I don't actually know whether that's added sugar or whether that's sugar that comes from the raspberries that are supposedly in this product. To really understand, I actually have to look at the ingredients label. And at Sugar Science, we've actually got a list of all the different names of sugars that can be in a product. So it's not just sucrose, like the table sugar I had in that bag, but it's corn syrup. So looking at this, the fruit filling made with real fruit. The first ingredient is invert sugar. Then we've got corn syrup. Oh, and then there's the raspberry puree concentrate. But you really have to be a sleuth to understand how much added sugar are in these products, especially in healthy products.